Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I do want to talk about a multitude of players. We are going to be talking about Emerson and his presentation. We're also going to be speaking on the situation that's going on between Lionel Messi and FC Barcelona. When could we expect Messi to renew with FC Barcelona before the transfer window does close on August 31st? Then we're also going to be speaking about the wage cuts that's currently being negotiated with the veterans, with players such as Gerard Piquet, Alba Busquets, Sergio Roberto. And then lastly, we are going to be discussing the situation of Elix Moriba. Joan Laporta has taken a hit at Elix Moriba earlier today and he has made it very clear within this message that we are going to be talking about that he does not want to repeat the exact same case like what's currently going on between Moriba and FC Barcelona. There is so much that we do need to discuss within today's video but before we go into those topics I do want to talk about the One Football app. If you guys are looking for a brand new football app that's very reliable in terms of team stats, player stats, what's currently going on in the transfer world, the One one football app will be there to inform you immediately and live and the only thing that you do have to do is go into the link in my description box you would be able to click the link it'll take you straight to the app store once you're in the app store you can download it and then from there once you do have the one football app you will be able to follow your desired players or maybe even teams and know exactly what's going on with the players or clubs that you do want to follow but now let's get back into the video but let's first start with the presentation of emerson so it is official that emerson has been presented at fc barcelona he was with with Joan Laporta. We have seen him with the Barcelona shirt. It is great to see that he has finally been announced because we have been waiting about one month and a half for this to actually happen. And Emerson does look ready. Emerson has said time and time again in the past few months that he is ready to join, that he wants to join FC Barcelona. So this is a player that wants to be here. And so it says here that Emerson has undergone the medicals this morning and has participated in the first team training session while his presentation was scheduled to be placed right after. And so so everything did go as planned. We saw Emerson train with the likes of Aguero, Felipe Coutinho at Barcelona's training ground and the rest of the squad was in Germany. So it was a total of three players that were on the training ground today. You could you could see Aguero and Emerson and Felipe Coutinho working hard. They want to be ready. I do not expect Emerson to play against Salzburg, which will be on Wednesday. I do expect Emerson to actually play against Juventus, which will happen on Sunday. And that is only because it does take time for a player to get into the rhythm to understand what his role is going to be as a right back there still needs to be more time between Koeman and Emerson and to communicate what they do want from each other. But in the end, when we do see Emerson face against Juventus on Sunday, that is going to be a time where Koeman can test Emerson to understand what type of player he is, to understand can this player be reliable enough to start within my starting 11 throughout La Liga. Because let me tell you guys, in this upcoming season, there are going to be many times where we are going to be seeing Dest and Emerson continue to switch. It's ultimately going to be depending on the game. Because Dest and Emerson Emerson are two different right backs and that is what Ronald Koeman wants to understand. What could Emerson bring that Dest cannot and what could Dest bring that Emerson could not bring? And we have studied these two players before. We know that Emerson defensively is a much more reliable right back and by a huge margin. The only question that does remain is does Emerson have the exact same talent and technique attacking wise compared to Serginho Dest? And we have came to a conclusion that no, Emerson right now is below Serginho Dest in terms of the offensive of qualities but Emerson is still a much stronger defender and the one thing that Barcelona do need right now within that back line is a stronger defense and Emerson is the answer and so I hope that with this big advantage that Emerson does have over Serginho Dest it lifts up Serginho Dest to step up and say okay if Emerson is going to be here to bring this type of quality I also need to improve in other areas to prove to Ronald Koeman that I could be the most reliable right back and that is what we do want to see is to see this healthy competition, the competitiveness, something that many of us are so ready to see in the upcoming season. But now I do want to slowly transition away from this piece of news and talk about Lionel Messi because earlier in the video I did explain that Aguero and Emerson and Coutinho were training on the training ground and today is August 2nd, the day where four players were actually supposed to be there. But there was a total of three and many of you guys are going to be questioning who was that fourth one? And that fourth player was supposed to be Lionel Messi. He was actually supposed to be here with Aguero, Emerson, and Felipe Coutinho. And so it says here that the only one who is yet to join is Lionel Messi. Laporta wants to announce his renewal this week so he could play against Juventus. So many of you guys are going to be asking, why is Messi not here? Wasn't it originally reported that Messi was supposed to be returning to Barcelona on August 2nd to train with the other players? So as of now, the only details that we do have is that Messi is on the verge of renewing with FC Barcelona. Barcelona have came into a conclusion where they have delayed his 
start date. We do not know exactly why, but I do believe that the majority of the reason why Messi did not return, it is because they are planning to make an announcement that Messi has renewed with FC Barcelona. And that is it, right? They want to make an announcement first to show that Messi has renewed with Barcelona and then train with the group. And it says here, according to Sport, Messi will sign with Barcelona until 2026. The fringes and the small details that were pending have been solved in the last few hours. And the renewal will include a 50% wage cut. The only thing that Barcelona needs to solve is to reduce the wage bill to be able to formalize the contract of Lionel Messi. So there are going to be questions. So if the wage cut is the only thing that's actually missing in order to sign Messi to FC Barcelona, where's the wage cut situation at now? Are we making any progress? Has something been delayed? And so it says here, according to Fernando Polo, neither Piquet, Alba Busquets, or Sergio Roberto are against taking a wage cut. The negotiations have been advancing and the aim of the club is to close an agreement before the league starts on the 13th. Piquet has already said yes to a wage cut. Sergio Roberto and Busquets will be ready to follow Gerard Piquet and Jordi Alba is not resisting to make a wage cut. They want to make this happen. And so that's great, right? You can see how these two reports are very closely correlated to one another. Barcelona do have to fix the wage bill. They are doing so with Piquet, Alba, Busquets and Sergio Roberto. And then by then, after that is done, that is where Barcelona can say we are ready to sign Lionel Messi again. The only big question that I do have personally right now is that how is all of this going to be announced? Is Joan Laporta going to be announcing it? Is Messi going to be there? Is Messi going to be going through the exact same presentation course where he is going to be talking to the press? He is going to be presented at the Camp Nou just like Emerson, Depay and Sergio Aguero. How is it going to go down? Either way, this is a big win for Joan Laporta to know that Joan Laporta has renewed Lionel Messi at Barcelona after knowing that a few months ago he wanted to leave this club. That is going to be a huge win because this is not just going to be a renewal that Laporta is accomplishing. It's going to show that this club has players that want to be together and want to be united and they want to win titles. And during the Emerson presentation, Joan Laporta still had a few words to say to La Liga. And this is what he had to say about Barcelona's situation and Lionel Messi. We would like more flexibility on the part of La Liga to be able to incorporate some more signings. We all love Messi in La Liga and he helps promote La Liga all over the world. And there you have it. Joan Laporta is applying pressure towards La Liga, more specifically Javier Tebas to say that we need more flexibility because at the end of the day, if you give us that, that is exactly what La Liga does need. You guys need us more than we need you. We, Barcelona, are the reason why La Liga is what it is today because we have a player named Lionel Messi. And so that's going to be it, right? That is going to be the conclusion regarding Messi's renewal. Barcelona is closely working with the negotiations between Gerard Piquet, Sergio Roberto Busquets, and Jordi Alba. And as soon as that is done, that is where Barcelona will have room to maneuver and say, we can renew Messi in this upcoming week. So whatever does happen, any new details regarding these reports, we are going to be talking about it here in this YouTube channel. And now I do want to move on towards the Big Bang. And that is going to be about Moriba. Because let me tell you, what Juan Laporta has said within the press conference is going to be surprising so many people right now. But I first do want to start with this. The Moriba case has obviously not been solved. We know that Barcelona and the lawyers of Moriba, they are very separated and they see this case very differently. And there has been many reports stating that Barcelona is very firm. They're going to be sticking with their proposal and say that we do not want to further the wages, nor the compensation, nor any commission for a renewal regarding Moriba. And that is what makes me very nervous, right? Because there has also been reports that Moriba is actually asking for a higher wage than Ansu Fati. And Ansu Fati has a track record. If you were to compare the track record of Ansu Fati with the first team and Moriba with the first team, it's not even comparable. Ansu Fati has already done so much. And the fact that Moriba is asking for more money and a higher wage or a higher compensation or a higher commission, that makes no sense. And it says, here, according to Ferran Martinez, Barcelona has set the date, which is August 8th, to be the deadline for Moriba's renewal. They still haven't received a response from their agents regarding the latest offer, and the club will take matters into their own hands if things do not get resolved by Sunday next week, which basically means that if Barcelona cannot find no solution and the agents do not communicate with FC Barcelona, then they are going to be looking to sell. Because the one thing that Barcelona do not want to do is to let go of Moriba for free. And it does 
does seem like the agents are planning on doing so by not responding. That is what Barcelona do assume. And so there is only 30 days more within this transfer window. And that is the only reason why Barcelona is acting in this way is because the time is very limited. And the fact that all of this is happening, right? This is going to be coming with a cost because now many people are saying Moriba is not good enough. It does not even matter. He is not needed in FC Barcelona. And that is not even true because look, is Moriba a player like Xavi or Iniesta or a Gavi or a Pedri or a Zidane? No, Moriba is not that type of player. What Moriba is, is a Vidal or a Wijnaldum type of player. Those are the players that you could compare Moriba to because the way that Moriba uses his body well, protects the ball, moves the ball forward, a player that can arrive in the box perfectly defensively or offensively, that is a player that Barcelona do need. Even back in the Guardiola days, Guardiola used to love having the combination of Yaya Torre and Busquets. And that is because options do matter. They were both two completely different defensive midfielders, but it gave Pep Guardiola options. Moriba in this version of Barcelona does give Ronald Koeman another strong option. And that is why he is so valued. And so the fact that the lawyers of Moriba and the and football club Barcelona are not seen eye to eye in this renewal, this is what Joan Laporta had to say during the press conference of Emerson. We will not try to let Moriba's case happen again. A player who has one year left on his contract and does not want to renew with the club's condition is a situation we do not accept. We must act and send a message. And there you have it. That is the big bang. The fact that Joan Laporta has finally spoken about this situation, it is confirming that Moriba and the lawyers are not complying with Barcelona's situation. They do not really care about what they are going through. And what Joan Laporta is trying to say is that we are standing firm because we want to send a message that no player is above another player, that everyone should be taking a wage cut during these tough times, and that we are no longer a club where players can ask for whatever commission, for whatever salary every other year. And that is exactly what many of us do want to see, is a Barcelona that is very controlled, a Barcelona that is checked, in order to not repeat the exact same mistakes like what ex-president Bartomeu was doing three years ago, giving 120 million for Coutinho, 110 million for Antoine Griezmann, accepting a 20 million clause appearance for Felipe Coutinho, 20 million euros for the agent, 30 million euros for Griezmann's agent, just splashing money everywhere and letting the players and the lawyers and the agents ask for whatever money to Barcelona. Joan Laporta does not want to be in that situation, nor does he want Barcelona to be run in that way. This is a Barcelona club that you must protect. And to say that if you want to play for our club, if you truly love FC Barcelona, you would accept the proposal that we do offer, not because we offer more money than the next club. So right now it is a huge mess. It's very unfortunate that Moriba has to be in this situation. We literally only have about five to six days left to find out what is going to be the end result of Moriba with FC Barcelona. Is he going to be renewing with this club? Yes or no. But that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.